All right, hello guys. Uh, today I'm gonna give you guys an, uh, another update of my uh, wonderful PX6 Android radio that I installed on my 2009 RAV4 about eight months ago. And uh, one of the YouTube uh, subscriber uh, viewer named Jace asked me to show the FM radio menu. So, uh, so I'm gonna make this video just to show you guys the uh, again the uh, overall radio interface and the radio FM menu as you requested. All right, let's. Turn on the uh, radio. Power on. Home so that's home. Well, Alright, so this is the main home screen. Uh, just uh, mute the radio for now. So this is all the menu. Uh, basically, this car is being used from by my wife and my kids. So uh, I don't have any favorite on here. But let's go to the radio right now. Yeah, I don't know if you can see anything here, but it's the radio menu. All right, it was too much light outside there, so I'll bring it inside the garage now, and let's try again. So this is the uh, muted for now. So this is the radio menu. It's FM menu. So the presets over here is automatically safe for me. But let's see. You move this one. Uh, let's see. This one none. All right, there's the volume. Scanning the station now. All right. So let's say you want to save this one as your preset number one. You tap and hold on this. So it's saving that. So 105.3, it's right here. Now I want to save it over here. I tap on here and hold it. Save the presets there. Then yeah, you scan like that. We'll be good to we'll go to the next station. Oh, you can slide back and forth with your finger to the station you like but easy one is just to use this that's AM FM this one I think is automatically search And save all the local stations or any stations that the radio can pick up two three yeah because just because I'm inside the garage so it doesn't pick up a lot of radio signal in here so but it's just Better to show you guys in here because too bright outside there, and uh, this screen is hard to see through the camera when it's too much uh, light around. And so, go back to home. So, this is my interface, it's Bluetooth. So, let me connect to my phone. So, let's connect to radio, RAV4 radio. One, two, three, four. Now let me play some. Oh, 
now I automatically connect to my Apple CarPlay. Yeah, so I can play music with Apple CarPlay. So, yeah, majority, mainly we use the, this radio with the uh, Apple CarPlay. So, when it's hooked up to Apple CarPlay, and uh, you can only use Apple CarPlay through your phone, which is my case, usually using it to play uh, Spotify. You know, I don't have Spotify Fi in here, but usually my kids use for Spotify, wireless Spotify and stuff like that. All right, so that's Apple CarPlay, but see what we use the radio. Then, as the radio, it may go back to Apple CarPlay later. So we'll go back to Apple CarPlay, that'll be under... This. Hmm. Well, apparently in this radio you can uh, listen to the radio and using Apple CarPlay at the same time. It's not on my CNN radio, it doesn't work this way, but oh, this is good. And if I use Apple CarPlay music, then we'll stop the uh, radio. Cool. Well, I say this car is mainly used by my wife and my kids, so I didn't really know that this feature is working on this RAV4. That's good. Okay, there's another question that uh, one of the YouTube viewer asking is that the setting for the parking line. So let's go to home setting. Basically, there's no like parking brake setting, but it's actually is uh, another setting which is similar to uh, parking brake parking line setting. It just tell the the parking line setting is to tell the radio when the car is in park or not in park. So over here, this setting, it got, you go to setting and you go to car and you go to driving setting, which is right here. Then in here, it say watching video allowed to watch video while driving. So this feature here, it's just because, oh, oh doorbell. So it's just because I already bypassed my parking brake line to ground. So this feature is irrelevant for my setup, but let's see if you didn't run your parking line to the ground to bypass the parking line, you can turn on this feature and even this feature notification. So then you can still watch the video while you're driving. And remember, it's not safe to do so while you're driving and watching the video at the same time. But let's say your passenger wanna watch the video while you're driving, you can turn on this feature so your passenger can still watch the video. Anyway, so that's it. Just, uh, is it just similar to uh, the setting you call parking line setting. So I hope this will help. Other than that, it's just uh, everything is just the same as my uh, uh, initial setup video that I did for you guys. So this is steering wheel setup. I already did, so I don't want to do it again. Other than that, so that's it, guys. It's been uh, eight months now. <laughs> so it's been eight months now and it's still uh, working good it's a wonderful px6 radio android radio and uh, if you have you guys have any more questions just uh 
drop me a, a comment and uh, I'll try my best to uh, to let you know about this radio and any feature any setting that you guys want to do it I uh, want to uh, know if you're not sure that's it guys thanks for watching bye for now